what's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to more Layers of Fear 2, the game with 10 billion doors. Now listen, if you thought the first act was rather boring, you're right. However, I hear a rumor from a little birdie that act two is full of spookiness and jump scares and mannequins and dark hallways and uh, now I don't want to record the video, but listen, if you guys like seeing me get scared, this should be the act for you. So with that being said, all we have to do is go through the door and the adventure begins. Ah. You hear him? They're already starting. Talking shit, gossiping. I have never done that. I never will. My booty cheeks are for me only. You don't wanna know what they're saying right now. It is all sorts of messed up. Excuse me, I'm such a big fan. Could you please sign? Oh, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I think I mistook you for someone else. What do you mean? But it's me. You don't want an autograph from me? Are you, get out of here. I'm about to sign your titties with, uh, with some bullets. <laughs> Ignore me. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I am someone else. I'm me, bitch. You can't do that. Request an autograph and then take it back. Oh, I thought you were famous. Never mind. Well, never mind you. Uh oh, we're sinking. We're sinking. Someone, uh, someone throw me a lifesaver and not the candy. If you guys don't understand, lifesavers are a, uh, a type of candy, a very delicious type of candy. And that is a distinguished top hat. I would love a top hat, yes. Oh, well, well, well. There's that freaky painting. You guys hear this, right? Don't believe a word they're saying. It's not true. Yeah, uh, could we take this again? Uh, <laughs> There's something wrong with the picture. My face must be I, at it. I think you must have moved. You just don't look quite yourself. What? Who do I look like then, dumbass? Dwayne Johnson? Is that is that what I look like? Sheldon? Sheldon Cooper? Who, who do you think I look like, idiot? Oh, that is weird. What? What? Oh, okay. The phantom door locker. No, the phantom door snatcher. That's a nifty trick. I go through the door and then I appear on the other side. That is so weird. This game is weird. It's messing with my head and I don't appreciate it. I really d d don't appreciate it. Uh oh. Okay. Well, that that's happening. Oh, please don't jump out and grab my titties. I don't like jump scares. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I hate when things do that. Is it just me or when, you know, characters in a video game do this thing where they twitch like this? It's all freaky, I hate it. Like that's not a normal human movement. You know what I'm saying? Oh. What's happening here? Oh God, hello? Hi. Oh, oh, it's grandma. Grandma, let me in, let me in. No, oh, granny. See what I'm saying? The weird twitchy thing. Oh no. Granny put her titties in my face, oh no. He who lives more lives than one, more deaths than one must die. Wait, what? He who lives more lives than one, more deaths than one must die. I have no idea. Granny put them big old knockers right up my face. <laughs> Granny, I don't want to see him. I don't want to see him. That's nasty. Keep those to yourself. Oh, she's coming. Oh, she's coming. Oh, Lord. Oh, good God. Protect me from Grandma and them big titties. That's a far drop. Uh, 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 okay. All right. Bye. Ooh, that's going to hurt. I'm going to feel that. No football for me? I just broke my kneecaps. Ooh. Oh, it's one of these. Old timey ships had them. Ding, 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 ding. Full steam ahead. Oh. Chasing dreams. We often find ourselves in a nightmare. 
Hey, listen, man, my entire life is one giant nightmare. By the way, um, how do you do that with your voice? It sounds very painful. Uh, if you need a cough drop, I can get you one. You know, maybe you have like a, a sore throat. Oh, wait, hold up. What is this? Oh, a puzzle! Oh, I do love puzzles. There we go. And then, brrrr, I just executed a prisoner. A serial killer. He killed so many boxes of cereal. Captain Crunch, Coco Roos. Coco Roos are like the knockoff generic version. You get the idea. Cheerios, bad guy. Killed a lot of boxes of cereal. Had it coming. Up we go. Ooh. This place is very metallic. Oh, a letter. More reading. Yay! My strong suit. No, it's not. Ah, uh, time and description of activity. Starting patrol of lower decks. Engine room appears to be in order. Moving to cargo holds. Heard suspicious noises among the cargo. Went to investigate. Flashlight broke. Had to double back to get a spare. Line circled in red. Damage. Oh! The flashlight we found from Act 1, the one that was shattered, this is the guy that had it. Had to double back to get a spare, line circled in red, damage to company property, deduct from pay! Now that is the cheapest thing I've ever heard. Are you kidding me? A security guard breaks his flashlight and they take it out of his pay? A flashlight is like a dollar. Stop being cheap. Uh, dereliction of duty recommended, or recommend disciplinary action, resuming patrol, no further signs of disturbance. Shift over. Cool. Well, uh, that, that just sounds like so much fun. I would love to work on a giant ship and then accidentally break my flashlight and have to pay for it. Incredible. Ooh. Oh, hi! Hello there, mannequins. Ooh, I don't like that sound. I'm gonna shut the door. No telling if grandma's coming in here or not. Hey, guys. Lovely day. No oh, shit! Oh, she, uh, she's gone. Look at this guy. You coward. You disgust me. Oh, please, don't hit me, Grandma, with your giant titties. My neighbors are gonna think I'm so weird. This guy was trying to... What, what? You want... Oh, you wanted to grab him, huh? Okay, then. Weird, weird mannequins. Oh, God. Oh, God, she's in here somewhere. Listen, I'll have you know there's a rule around these parts. You can't touch someone unless they give you permission. Oh, God. I see your shadow. Is that a horse? That looks like the shadow of a horse. Hello? <laughs> oh, it's not a horse. What the hell? What? Yeah, um, I'm tripping balls on drugs. You know, I had my breakfast of champions this morning. Adderall, vodka, lots of vodka and Adderall. And uh, Cheerios, obviously, so maybe it's kind of messing with my head. Yeah, I have no idea where that shadow's coming from. Just twisty old twisty turn this pipe. There we go, or wheel. Steam's gone. Mm. They're building up an atmosphere for some reason. I don't like this. Something bad's about to happen. <clears throat> we have another slide for our uh, slide projector thingy. Cool. Ooh. I know she's in here. I know she's in here. Will you look at that? Not only do we have the phantom door locker, the phantom door snatcher, now we have the phantom food snatcher. You pilfering miser. Buy your own goddamn food. Don't steal mine. Oh. The fabric of reality has been torn. Look at that. We're walking through the multiverse. I have no idea what I'm talking about. It's floating food. Floating pastries. Oh, look at that. Fantastic. I've always wanted to eat a donut without having to try. Holding it up is just so much effort. 
I wish I was in space, then I could just float to a donut and eat it. That's the way to do it. Oh. And they're gone. Cool. Is that a floating apple? Oh! Oh! Okay, well. Uh... Listen, I've gotta be honest, I have no idea what's happening. There's a phantom food snatcher. Oh, now there's a bunch of rotting fish. A crazy grandma that wants to touch me. See, look, phantom door locker. He locked the doors. And, uh... A bunch of mannequins. I'm so confused. I can hear that music. Usually that means crazy granny's around. Oh, that's a fancy trick. There he is. There he is. The phantom door snatcher. That is amazing. I was literally looking at the door. I turn it and this dude reconstructs the entire ship's layout in one second. Incredible. That is a magic trick of this century. Seriously, my man, you've got some real talent. That's crazy. That's locked. Hmm. Well, lu luckily the music's done. Oh God. Oh, there she is. Okay. Uh. Oh yeah, she's coming. All right, listen, Granny, I already told you, I don't want to see him. I don't want to see him. I don't want to feel him. Just leave me alone. Leave me alone. Go away, Granny. Go torment someone else. I think she's gone. Go! Oh, she's pissed. She's pissed. I think she's gone. Nothing in here changed. Thank God. <laughs> Ooh, I don't want to go out here. I really don't want to go out here. Hello? Crazy Grandma? Oh. Oh, it's another one of these. See, look at that. What, what the hell is this? That's so weird. Okay, I'm guessing it's a slideshow. We find the door, we go through it, right? Yup, there's the door. Look at that, so easy. Uh, what? Uh, okay, well that must be the wrong door. Oh, door frame. Can I, I can't go through it. Oh, wait a minute, I know what we're doing. We're, uh, we're constructing the door piece by piece. Yup. Look at that. I'm a genius. I catch on real quick. Uh. Oh, of course. You can't have a door without a door handle. There's that. Now what comes after a door handle? What are those? Oh, right. Keys, obviously. You can't open a door without a key. Not on this boat, at least. Everything is locked. You better hope we're not going down because you will have one devil of a time getting out of this place. Is she coming? Can I shut the door? Yes, thank God. Whoa! There's the ship down there. Ding, ding, boys, wake up! We've got a shark, starboard side. Ahoy, matey! They're not listening. You hear that, right? Exactly. Nothing. Piercing silence. This is not. Tragedy strikes at the heart. Despair consumes the soul. A life crumbles. Uh huh. Whatever you say. Hey, buddy, buddy, what's the matter? Did a little mannequin break your heart? Guess what, bitch? Man up! Who cares? There's plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> Makes sense, we're on a boat. You know what? 
I've got the perfect remedy for you. Your heart's broken. Watch some Netflix on this old crusty TV. You'll feel a lot better. See, look, your favorite show's on. Static. I have a feeling he's too far gone. Uh, door? Oh, that's locked. Hmm. Hello? That could be one of two things. A very innocent little kid locked up, banging away, help, help me, or a monster just smashing its head up against the door until I open it and it comes running out and eats my soul. Ooh, that is a freaky sound. Can you not? You're starting to freak me out. Oh, more reading. From chief security officer to whom it may concern, it has come to my attention that some of the food supplies have recently gone missing. Oh no. In light of this, I am left with no other choice but to introduce increased security measures. Starting today, food will be rationed to individual crew members and the provision storage will be guarded at all times. Right, no one gets the pizza without permission. Um, huh. So people are stealing food, huh? Oh! Hello there! See, I hate that. Why is it doing that? <laughs> it's like Frankenstein coming to life! Or Frankenstein's monster! Frankenstein wasn't the monster, he was the scientist that made the monster. The more you know. And I could be completely wrong with that and look so stupid, but it's okay, you guys already know I have no brain. Here is wisdom. 800. No, that's probably 008, right? No, that's 800, right? I don't know. Oh, for the keypad. Oh, why do I feel like there's a monster in here that's gonna come out and grab me? Uh, 800. No? Okay, then it has to be 008. Nope, shit. There we go. Ooh, who's in here? Any monsters? Do not touch me! I've had the flu, I'm a very sick man. I'll cough all over your face. That's right, I'll cough on your face and you'll get skin warts because that's how the flu works. It's a poster, Hamlet. The lowest is common. All that lives must die. <coughs> Passing yeah. through nature yep. to eternity. Oh, profound words. I feel enlightened. I'm no longer scared. I have seen the light and it's so bright. Oh my God, it's actually bright. Ah, <sighs> go on to turn your volume down. I know what it's gonna be. It's a monster. It's gonna scare me. Oh, oh, it's the kid. Oh, it's a demon kid. See, it's a demon kid. Those are all the demons swarming around. Yeah, I know exactly what's happening. You communicate with the spirits, don't you? You little demon boy with your glowing cat eyes. I can't believe it. This is the worst. A bunch of spirits talking shit and I can't even fight back. Get up, Quartermaster. master. What's done is done. No use crying. We need to venture forth and find some fresh supplies. Here, take this. It will help you find your strength. So is my strength north, north, south, west, east? Which way is it? I need to find it. So I'm guessing what's happened is the kids broke into the provisions locker, got some food because they're stowaways, and then now everyone's on red alert and they're locking everything down and the kids are starving. Is that, what, is that what's uh, happening here? Creepy boy? Creepy, creepy boy. Not sure. Oh wait, I already came this way. Uh, oh, of course, the wardrobe. Ah, there's a whole ass room in there with the well. 
Oh, well, I guess I'm going in. Do not jump down and grab me, I swear to God. Ooh. Maybe he's the phantom door locker, I don't know. Hello? Anyone down there that's not a murderous monster? This is like Narnia's closet, you know, or the, the wardrobe. You go into the wardrobe and you're in a new mystical land that's black and white. Coming down. Well, this is fun. Oh, never mind. <coughs> Broke my knees again. Ah, what? The hell is this place? It's a mannequin factory. No, it's a mannequin engine. It's like we're, uh, I don't know what to call it. The, the hull of a ship, the bow of a ship, whatever you call it. We're down below. Mannequins run the ship. I have no idea if this is symbolism or what it means, but it's freaky. You guys are alive. And that's a weird clock. You forgot the 11 and 12 o'clock part. You know, it only goes to 10. You guys, I. you know what, it's fine. Mannequins aren't the smartest. Weird. So weird. So freaky. Okay then. Uh, <laughs> ah, yep. I'll uh, I'll see you guys later. Freaky mannequins. I don't know what was in my morning cereal, but this shit has got me all sorts of messed up. left out to dry? What the hell? That is so weird. <laughs> oh my God, what? Okay, what is the symbolism here? Or is there even a symbolism? It, it's weird. Oh, I get it. It's an engine that runs from burning mannequins. We're part of a mannequin genocide. Yeah, is, is, that, is that what happens? What is this? Oh, I see. We're supposed to complete the pattern. Ah. Well, luckily your boy is a uh, a genius. Is that it? I have just constructed the world's first mannequin-powered engine. Look at that. Fantastic. I'm solving the world's problem to efficient fuel. Just burn all your mannequins. It's great. Not freaky at all and weird, no, and not definitely not disturbing. Just round up all your mannequins from the local stores and burn them. They're great fuel. Can't go that way. <coughs> Man, I got a cough. <coughs> Having the flu is no fun. No fun at all. One suffers for another. Another takes their place. The machine. See, I was right. They're literally burning mannequins for fuel. There he goes. Ah! So they take his arms and legs to fuel these machines, and then his torso and head goes into the vat of melted mannequin. We are witnessing literally a mannequin genocide. This is terrible. You guys should be ashamed of yourselves. Although with that being said, I can see why you're doing it. Look at that workout. Really toning up the old cheeks, doing some yoga and stretches. Those quads are gonna be on fire tonight, boys. Oh, and this guy died. Okay, we have this weird clock. I'm guessing it's a puzzle. Zero of eight. Uh, what? Two of eight. Five of eight. Oh, it's so weird. Why is the clock arm made of a mannequin? A mannequin's arm. It's a clock arm, it's a mannequin's arm. Oh, wait a minute, hold up. I have an idea. 
No, wait. 12 of 38. There's no 12 on here. Let's try 10. 22 of 38. Oh, wait a minute. Are we just trying to make the, uh, the fraction equal one? 31 of 38. So I would need a, a seven, right? Quick maths, quick maths. That, okay, that's what it is. We're trying to make e each fraction equal one. <clears throat> so 24 of 70. Uh, oh boy, this is tough. I am not so good at math. Even though I made it all the way up to like Cal 10,000. 34 of 70. Okay. This is a lot of turning. My arm is getting tired. 43 of 70. Oh! Oh! 51 of, 51 of 70, okay. Let's go to the seven. Well, this isn't really a, a hard puzzle. 58 of 70. Uh, I'm totally messing this up and I'm gonna have to keep twisting and winding this. 64 of 70, so a five and a six. Or no, my bad, a five and a one. Yup, okay. Is that it? I've done it! I've killed the machine! Free the mannequins! Oh, no, he's dead. Well, what the hell was the purpose in that? Sorry, I, I really want to save you guys, but oh well. Time marches on. Death turns to decay. Sure, what, what, whatever you say, creepy man. We have a flower, and it looks to be a plastic flower at that too. Cool. That is so weird. That is so weird. Whatever. We have an elevator here. Going down, please. Nice place you've got here. I can't believe you would work in a genocide factory and be okay with it, you bunch of Nazis. How do you do? Just uh, going down? Yes? Oh, it's lunchtime. What do you eat? Mannequin feet. Whenever I do one of these things where I shake and not make any sounds, that's when I'm truly scared. <coughs> oh my God. So weird. So weird. Well, boys, it was not. All right, then it was nice meeting you, but oh well, goodbye. Ooh, now this is freaky, freaky. No man is an island, but one can become a vessel to carry within a flame of another. What the hell is happening here? All aboard the Headless Express. Oof. Oh man. This honestly looks like something out of Outlast. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so weird. Hey, what's up, man? I, I, I see you. You're watching me. Are you the phantom door locker? Or um, are you in charge of the mass extinction of all mannequins? Ooh, there's, <laughs> there's rats down there. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't like this building. Seems like the type of place you could get some type of disease. Very dirty. Very dirty. Hey, what's up, buddy? You need a heart? Or no, a flower. Oh, I'm so sorry. It feeds the soul. It makes the world so bright. So bright. The stolen flame burns strong. Burns out. Uh, listen, man, I'm so sorry. I didn't, oh, there's my ride. I didn't realize that that was a, uh, a flammable flower. I, I found it on a dead mannequin in a genocide factory. 
This game is so strange. Hi. Oh, they do a really good job in this game of making the visuals creepy. Like normally Outlast would probably rely on blood and gore and dead babies, but this, like just the mannequins alone are so freaky. Oh, so strange. Go ahead and give this a quick turn just for good luck. There we go. Beautiful. <coughs> hey, what's up, Jack? Uh, going back down. Are these guys going to appear behind me? Hi, where did you come from? Fancy meeting you in this elevator. <laughs> oh, I wish I had more flowers, then you would all burn up and disappear. So strange. Oh, I hate how you move too. That That's kind of weird. This whole game's weird. I've got to stop fixating on it. Bunch of mannequins behind me. Not freaky at all. <laughs> I'm not scared. Not scared at all. Oh. Well, it looks like we're going into the belly of the beast. I knew it. My time has come. I must go into the belly of the beast and fight the great mannequin murderer. You guys just gonna keep dancing like that? Not even a goodbye? All right then, see you later. Oh, that's not so bad. Hi, who are you? Just uh, watching from a distance. Cool. I honestly thought I was going into a furnace, which would make sense in a very morbid way if this factory was. Never mind. I'm. I, you know what? Forget it. Just mannequins having fun, ripping each other apart. Nothing weird about that. Hmm. Well, now th this is a nice change of pace. No! Let me in! No! Oh! oh no! Oh God, no! Who are you? And why are you doing that? Oh, that's, oh, is that a hand? Oh! It's amazing how something as simple as low frame rate in a modern game could make something look so twitchy and evil. Oh, now what happened here? Oh my God, these guys are all burned up. It looks like Pompeii. It was Pompeii, right? The, the place where all the people were frozen in time from when the volcano erupted. Maybe not, I don't know. I'm not great with history. Ooh, and I really don't want to grab whatever that is coming from your pelvis region. Is that the mannequin equivalent of a penis? Oh shit, what is that? Oh, that's so weird. I don't like that. Whoa! Move yourself. That's a fantastic way of saying run. It's Granny. Oh, get me out of here. See, I knew, I knew nothing good comes from grabbing someone's pelvis region. Oh, whoa. oh I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Oh, thank God. Creepy Granny's gone. Oh. Creepy Granny. Oh, she is not to be messed with. Okay, I think we're good. Right? No one's gonna grab me, touch me, twist me, move me. I'm not a bop it, you know. Pull, twist it, bop it. You can't do that to me. Uh, what? Oh, hi. Looks like we're back in the land of color. I love it. Lovely day, sir. May I join you on your tea party? I do love tea. Do love a good thing of tea. Oh God, top of page torn off. Involved in a number of personal scandals, uh, sparking moral outrage and rumors as to the, um, Thessapian? 
Thesapian, I don't know how to say that word, mental health. Our sources within the household reveal that the star would spend hours on end behind locked doors. Voices could be heard at times, accompanied by laughter or crying, but then the door would open, revealing there was no one else in the room. Demons, obviously. It, it was demons. Uh, still, mannequin demons. Be specific. Still, as fame critic Noah Weasley is quick to remind us, extraordinary artists seldom lead ordinary lives. We must not forget that great art carries a heavy cost, chopping your ear off, obviously. Uh, to lose oneself in a role sometimes leads to losing oneself, period. Oh, okay, well that, that makes sense, obviously. You have to lose yourself to find yourself, uh, of course. Naturally, it all makes sense. Sometimes to do YouTube, I lose myself in a mall and it takes days to find who I am. It's always fun. An apple. Looks like the rats got to it before us. What, what was that? Shh, we're not alone here. Yeah, so these kids are trying to find food. So in act two, we see that the kids are trying to find food. They originally broke into the food locker and then the guards, of course, where they're like, oh, we well, gotta stop this. Let's put an extra uh, layer of guards on the, the food to stop them. But um, we find food all over the ship that's been rotting or eaten by rats. So it's kind of weird. I don't exactly know what's happening here other than the fact that Demon Boy and his sister are stowaways looking for food, I think. I could be completely wrong with that one. Oh! That was a hand. And it's locked. Well. Uh, there's no need to be bashful. Come on out. I won't bite. Truly. Well then. Oh! Oh, I see how it is trying to kill me. That's not very nice. Bunch of rude mannequins. Now what's in here? They're whispering. Will he open it? Is he gonna die? What's gonna crush him? Oh my God, I can't wait. Oh! I think grandma's under the box. Knock, knock, grandma, you in there? Oh! Oh, it's just rats. Just rats, we're good. Oh, thought it was something worse. Oh, <coughs> it's <coughs> Oh my god. But it looks like someone took a bite. Or something. Come, let's not wait for it to come back. Look at that. That is gnarly. It's covered in mold with a bite, maggots and blood. It looks so delicious. Mmm. Man, I'm a zombie. I'd love that. On the real, that looks absolutely disgusting. So yeah, the kids are hungry. They're trying to find food because obviously I think they're stowaways, but yet they're not allowed to get food out of the locker because again, they're on board illegally, yet there's food lying around all over the place rotting, which makes no sense. That is disgusting. Good Lord. Down we go. Huh. Oh, more reading. Fantastic. Had to reinforce some of the cages. Something's got the animals all spooked. Might be they sense the storm coming. That's me. My stomach's rumbling. I think I'm gonna have some gas. Need to batten down the hatches. It's gonna be a big one. Damn straight. I had a burrito the other night. It's gonna be huge. You might want to break out the, uh, the gas masks. Hi. Hello there. The name's Chuck. Salesman of air conditioners. May I interest you in one? Um, it's one of these. It has a little piece of film in it, I guess, that you can listen to. I'm not smart, but you get the idea. It's for the phonograph. Don't grab my dick. It's not nice. Up, 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 up. Another ladder. <laughs> Hey, wait a minute. Are you stalking me? Help! Mannequin police! I've got someone stalking me. I'm gonna get a restraining order on your ass. I hope you know that, mannequin bitch. Huh. Where the hell are... What the... What was that sound? Where the hell are we going? Besides up. 
Um, services provided. Dog training plus delivery, 225. Cage plus contents delivered to the live cargo deck. Kept feeding to a minimum as instructed. Handle with caution. Okay. So they delivered livestock of some sort. That's the cage right there. I am so confused. Oh, here we go. Up, up, up. You hear that, right? The hell is up here? Oh! Hey! They're stalking me! Look! See? They're friggin' stalking me! Guys, listen, seriously. Buzz off! I'm good. I don't I don't need you guys. I don't need the support. I can do all of this on my own. Freaky mannequins? Oh. Well, this is a strange orgy. I'll leave you guys to it. Whatever gets your rocks off. Yep, go ahead. Have fun with that. Uh. Okay, I don't want to press that just yet. I hear a dog. That's locked. Okay, maybe we have to press this. Oh God, what have I unleashed? What manner of demonry has broken loose? Ooh, I'm not scared. I'm not scared at all. These are still locked, thank God. Oh, oh shit. hi, hello, little puppo. I'm not scared of you, I'm a brave boy. I can go that way. What's in here? Nothing. Well then, you guys still having fun? Cause I'm not. Oh, okay, we got a mannequin down there. Oh, I think that may be uh, grandma. Seriously, they're dropping apples. You, you think I'm that desperate? You have to put pieces of candy and maybe like unused credit cards to lure me in like that. Trying to use apples. Is that? By God, that's the Holy Grail. May I have it? Oh, Grandma! Okay, I'm out. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. Oh. She's gone. She's gone. She's gone. But to where? Where did she go? Spooky Granny? Huh. Well. Uh. Look, there's something there. Huh? Something where? I am so confused. It's so dark. Oh, this way, of course. What was that? What was that? Look over there. Can't you see it? What, the floating boats? Oh, yes, I see it. At this point, I'm assuming I'm tripping on some type of, uh, Psychedelic, so I'm not gonna be scared of anything. I'm brave, very brave. It's just a bad trip, right? Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, 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 Grandpa's home-brewed liquor. No, this isn't what I saw. With a little splash of drugs. Me. We're out on the edge of the world, Mr. Hardy. Nothing is as it seems. It, nothing is as it seems. Yeah, that's what happens when you drink liquor laced with all types of crazy psychedelics. It's like, uh, apparently there's this one drug called ayahuasca or something like that. It's so crazy, you will literally see all sorts of demonry. Which is not something I am interested in. I like being lucid and knowing what's happening. I could only imagine how scary it would be to lose control. Like, imagine seeing something that's not there. Oh, no thank you. No thank you. Speaking of seeing things that aren't there, is that a door? The, that was a door. Okay, well then, I'm so sober. I'm all types of sober. Top of the page torn off. Mr. Hardy wouldn't get far without his beloved Captain Baines. 
Baines? Oh, okay, cool name. The captain is the main character of the story. Some people call him the Black Wanderer because of the color of his ship's sails. Captain Baines is strong and fearless, and he always gets the treasure in the end. Mr. Hardy is a bit envious of the captain because he would like to be as strong as him. Nice. Well then, no idea what that's about, but uh, cool. Hi, anyone here? Oh, there's the radio playing my favorite station, horror suspense background music. I'll just turn that off for now. Got a lovely fire. <sighs> warm the old tush up. That uh, cargo hold was very chilly down there. Just warm that up, warm the old testes up. Look at this lovely piece of art that makes me think about a uh, an insane asylum. Maybe puppies drowning in a bathtub. I don't know, that, that evokes emotions of depression. Okay, we're all warmed up. Let's keep going. Down, down we go. I wish someone would go back and count how many goddamn doors I've opened this episode because I feel like minimum, it should be around 100. I have opened, go! Oh! Ah! Okay, well, I, I, I think there would be a poltergeist, a demon, some sort of creature from a realm other than Earth down that hallway. Or we teleport into space again, which doesn't make sense because I'm not floating. Hmm. I think it's safe to assume there's a demon down here. But again, I think I've opened up at least a thousand doors minimum. Oh! Long dark hallway, something's bound to grab me now. Oh yeah, there's something in the corner. There's an entity in the corner. Okay, I'm brave. Oh, that's a coffin on fire. Brave boy, I'm not scared of you. I'm, I'm, I'm not scared. Oh. There's that freaky painting. Lots of liquor. Lots of liquor. Drink your problems away. Drink, drink, drink. You're gonna start a fire with that. I hope you know that. Okay, all right, all right, yep. All right, I'm moving forwards. Oh! Hello there. Are you a demon? What the hell is that? Oh, I hate how it twitches. That is so weird. <laughs> oh, it's so weird. Okay, stay in that corner. Do not chase me. Do not chase me. That's the last thing I need. Doctor, the reason I have heart palpitations is because I've got a demon chasing me. All right, son. Mm hmm Tell me, what drugs are you on? None yet. Uh-huh. May I prescribe to you, um, um, Reality checks, I, I have no idea what I'm talking about. You guys tell me I talk too much, and honestly, you're right. Ding, ding! I talk far too much. Oh! Well, that's nifty. Just appeared. From Chief Security Officer, to whom it may concern, I have been informed that some of the crew had voiced their misgivings about the new rationing policy. Let me remind you that it was introduced as a direct result of misconduct occurring aboard this ship. I cannot stress this enough, theft will not go unpunished, regardless of the fact that it was most likely a child that was hungry, and uh, that doesn't matter. I'm gonna punish the entire ship. No food for anyone, because I'm a good captain. I'm a very good captain. That's right. If anyone's caught stealing any extra cheese puffs, everyone's gonna starve. You don't like it? It's the rules of my ship. What are you gonna do, leave? <laughs> Ah. What a pleasant place. This one's empty too. We need to keep looking. Lily, I mean, Captain, there's something out there. In the dark. Hush now. Stay behind me. I won't let anything happen to you. Yeah, that's what's happening. These poor kids are starving. And obviously the captain is paranoid that someone's stealing the food, so he's making it even harder for everyone else to eat, which in turn means there's less scraps left over for the kids that are uh, stowaways and obviously starving. What a sad story. Of course, with that being said, I could be completely wrong. Oh, there's crazy grandma! Wrong way, going this 
way. Okay. Yep. Just on an evening stroll. Nothing to be scared about. Just crazy grandma trying to show me them big old titties. Oh. Fire? Seriously? The whole goddamn ship's burning down. Just thrilled here. Hello, mannequins. Oh. Am I safe? Oh, shit! Yep, she's right behind me. I'm just gonna go this way. Seems a little bit safer. Never ever book a vacation destination aboard a ship full of mannequins and creepy women. Creepy grandmas. Well, that, but now that's not how babies walk around. I mean, actually, that's not even a baby. That's a full ass boy. But why is your torso so stretched out? You look like a horse with a human head. Weird. Very, very weird. I, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Such an opportunity. Such responsibility to unleash what has been trapped for so long. I can hear it howling, rattling its cage, dying to get out. It's a crackhead. Obviously a crackhead. Okay, well, we've got this weird kid here. That is not an ordinary child. You can't tell me that. You cannot tell me that that's an ordinary child. Look at that. What the? Bruh. What is wrong with your back legs? Oh. Oh, what have I done? Oh! Cowards die many times before their deaths. Profound. Very profound. But I don't care. I'd rather be a coward and be alive than brave and die young, but brave. Because who cares if you're brave, right? Oh, gee. Good old Bobby was sure brave and died young. What the hell? So weird. That is so weird. What is this? Hi. Hello there, little mannequin. Why are you shaking like that? Well, looks like we're going in. Oh, back into the realm of black and white. Gotta love it. Hello? Anybody here? Just, uh, trying to find some friendly faces. You know what I'm saying? I want to start a tea party. Yeah, a tea party. You know, a party that has tea. Um, why tea? Well, it doesn't have to be tea. It could be anything you want. Name your poison. Just, uh, trying to meet new people. There's not a lot in common with a human being such as myself and mannequins. If you know what I'm saying. Okay, we're down to the boiler room. I think they call it. This would be like coal, perhaps? Imagine how bad it would have been back in the day having a job down in the boiler room of a ship. No windows, no light, just hot, steamy air full of like coal dust. Oh man, we have it so lucky in the 21st century. You have no idea. Leave it, Mr. Hardy. We're not that desperate yet. James, I said leave it. Mm, 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 mm. Man, something did this rat in. So yeah, the kids are definitely starving. Trying to- cost must be paid when one destroys the balance. A heavy cost. Right, of course. Whatever you say, scratchy throat. I totally understand the lesson you're trying to teach me. Oh, that is nasty. Oh, this one's still alive. Look, he's kicking for his final breath. See, look, he's moving. Aw, I'm sorry, little guy. You gotta die. Why? I have no idea, but apparently you need to. All lives are created equal. The life of one can outweigh the lives of many. Really? The lives of one can outweigh the lives of many. Or the life of one can outweigh the lives of many. 
That sounds like something an asshole general from like World War I would say. I'm more valuable, save me! Send out all the teenage boys to die needlessly over an inch of land. And everything is at stake. The lies hang in the balance. Reason becomes weakness. Trust your instinct. Reason becomes weakness. How does that make any sense whatsoever? Recording. Oh, so we're about to go into a recording studio. Well, this feels very YouTube-ish. Rats with a bunch of coal and dirt. YouTube is a dirty platform. Hello? Anyone on? Oh, whoa. Instinct. Trust your instinct. Or reason. The scale. Uh, take it or give up. Well, if we take it, we're we're taking food from this poor dog. But if we go, oh! wait. If we give up, uh, how does that even make sense? So you do things without a reason? All right, then I can do that. Trust Have a blank mind. Instinct. Blank mind. Tip. The scale. Right, all right, so uh, take it. One life outweighs the other. There is no other way. No other way. Hey, whatever you say, man. One lives, another pays the price. But not you. But not you? What do you mean, man? Prove your worth. Shift the balance. I, listen, I'm trying. Yes. Let instinct guide you. Forget reason. Uh. Forget mercy. Give me that meat, dog. I'm hungry. Come here, puppo. You're cute, but you know what? Reason, right? I don't need reason. That sounds like some gladiator shit. Two people fighting, whoever wins is the better life, the one that's more valuable. Well, what the hell are you talking about? I hope you understand that I'm a YouTuber. I don't understand these large concepts and you know philosophies of life. I'm just here to yell and make jokes about something that I can't understand at all. Stop wasting your very cancerous voice on me. Incredible. Reason is poison. Well, that's what I told people in school, but they never believed me. I go by instinct alone. You prey on the weak. Your belly grows full. Oh, maybe he's the voice of evil. If someone's weak and can't take care of themselves, screw them, right? That's the mentality a lot of people have that are well off. Screw the poor. It's their fault. They got there. And if you don't believe me, just uh, listen to people talk about homeless individuals. Oh, they did it to themselves. Anyone can get a job. They're probably on drugs. I mean, a lot of that may be true, but... You take what's not yours. Your heart grows cold. Listen, sister, I hate to break it to you, but I don't even have a heart. I'm starting to suspect I'm a mannequin. Misery. Your soul grows weak. Does it? Well, I think my soul needs a, uh, a dose of steroids. Maybe a workout in the gym. The hell is that? A bunch of, oh, bugs, obviously. Flies. Well, that's depressing. This entire voyage is depre depressing. Oh God, oh no. I'm starting to think this is the voyage of despair. I once saw this boy drown a baby rat in the gutter. Said it made him feel better, but that didn't make it all right. I think he was broken. Really? 
You know, I really want to feel bad for you and trust you, but you have these glowing demon eyes and I just, I, I, I don't like it. I've got to be honest, I, I really just don't like it. So I'm going to lock this door. No, I did not let you come in. See, demon boy, I'm right. It's a bloody demon boy. We're safe. Atlantic. Huh. From Chief Security Officer, AKA the guy that's got the stick up his butt. To all officers, I am hereby ordering the supplies to be transferred to a more secure location in the upper cargo hold, where I can eat all the food. <laughs> uh, I expect all provisions to be safe and accounted for in the next report. In any case, I wish to hear no more on the matter. <laughs> Someone stole the food, now I've gotta lock it all up and punish everybody on the ship. Right, got it. You're a little bitch. You're a little bitch boy. Ah, uh, what is forever? If not merely a prolonging of misery, I would gladly give it up for a life of meaning, of purpose. That first part, relatable. When you're in school and you have five minutes left on the clock and you're just sitting there waiting, forever truly is misery. Just looking at that clock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Biology teacher will not shut the hell up. Seriously, in school, at least for me, they would not let you go until the bell rung and even then they would keep you over. Bruv, that's not nice. Your boys gotta go pee. Same thing in college. Can't have your laptop out. Gotta listen to the lecture and take notes because you're totally not gonna go home and read the entire textbook to find one obscure passage you need for the test. Oh! Hello, who's there? Anybody? Oh, that's gold. We got money, money. We got monies, all sorts of monies. Wait a minute. You guys are starting to wise up. They tried to put the apples to lure me in and I was like, no, that's not gonna work. I don't like fruit. I only like pizza. So now they're putting gold pieces down. Clever boy. Very clever. Ah! I'm a rich man. I am a very, very rich man. Oh wait, these are prop pieces. Bloody prop pieces. It's not real gold. I can't buy anything with that. Well, goddamn. It's no good. We'll never find any food. James, look at me. And it's all my fault. I said, look at me. I am Captain Baines, the Black Wanderer, the Slayer of the Cyclops, the Seeker of the Flame. I will see us through this. Don't you ever doubt me. So they are looking for food and the big sister has, oh, I understand the pirates now. The sister has come up with this fun story so her little brother feels like it's not as scary as if it's not as dangerous because they're on a ship and they're pirates and they've got a compass. They're trying to find, you know, a destination that has food for them. That's so sad. It's a lot of gold. Oh, wow. Okay. I wonder what the mannequins serve as. So we're living out the story she's c come up with. Oh, what? Praise be to God, we have found the Holy Grail and mannequins and gold. I will buy a horse and name it Charles and shoot it because something, I don't know what I'm talking about. It's it, it's the Holy Grail. I'll touch it and have eternal life. Ah, never mind. Fish? What? Oh. Now I bet it smells bad in here. Oh my God, that's a pile of fish. Well, that's not very sanitary. <laughs> oh, smells bad in here. Just crawling on a pile of fish. Oh, may oh, I understand. They see it as gold pieces, possibly treasure because to them food would be treasure. Am I reading into this a little too much? I might be. Ugh, disgusting. 
Oh, and that's all the treasure I thought I found. <laughs> it's just fish. Rotting, disgusting fish. Oh, I get it. This is the more secure location the chief officer was talking about, the guy with the stick up his ass. Instead of letting people eat the food, he would rather lock it up and let it rot away as punishment. What a bastard. What a bastard. That has to be what's happening. No way they would let all this fish just rot for no reason. I feel like oftentimes people that have authority tend to abuse it. They feel a little bit like Superman simply because they can, I guess, dish out orders and people have to follow them. From second engineer to requisitions officer, I know you have your orders and I mean no disrespect. I am just saying the chief is being unreasonable. He let all that food rot in the hold as long as it's accounted for. See, I told you, this dude's an asshole, a royal dick. Anyway, uh, the workers are getting restless. Shifts are getting longer and they have to make do on less food. I know my men, they're decent, God-fearing folks. Not one thief among them. But when people hear their bellies rumbling, it's easy to put them over the edge. Yeah, see, this dude is high on power. And he thinks, oh, so someone stole a fish or two. Well, I'm gonna lock all the food up and let it rot. That's not a very wise choice when you're on a ship. Not a good idea. I couldn't even imagine being that big of a dick. Like sure, if someone was stealing all of the food, I would obviously have to do something about that, but a couple of kids just taking a little food, there's no reason to punish everyone and let all that food rot. Maybe there's some food here. Come on, we have to go. Oh. Did you hear that? This way. James, run. Oh God. Oh, what the hell is that? What a- Whoa! Oh shit! Is this like the burning flashlight when they're searching for the kids? Is that what this is supposed to be? Whoa! No, it, it's good. It's just a huge flare from the sun coming into the ship, burning everything up. I don't know. What do you think that is? God damn! Maybe that's what that's supposed to be. The beam from the flashlight as they search for the kids. Who knows? I'm just gonna lock that, there we go, yep. You're not gonna get me in here, you dangerous son. Is it safe here? Nope, still sunlight. Look at how piercing that is. Five minutes out there and I would have a tan. That's dangerous. Oh. So dangerous. Whew. All right, book it. Run. Run. Oh, hello there. Hiding too? Oh! See? That's why if you're a gamer, you never go outside. You'll end up dying. Poor guy, he melted. He had the wrong strategy. He should have hopped inside of a refrigerator like my boy Indiana Jones. Apparently that shit will protect you from even an atomic bomb blast. Silly boy. Oh, mom, you put a window in my gaming room. What did I tell you about sunlight? There's a direct correlation between Fortnite skill and uh, no sunlight. I have no idea guys, I'm sorry. Heart of the city. It beats no more. We failed them. This world never deserved us. Let's watch it burn. Together. Together? Well, now, isn't that just cute? How romantic. Oh, darling, let's go watch the world burn together. And actually, let's get involved. I'll throw a hand grenade and you drive over the pedestrians in your pickup truck. Yeah. Yes, sir, if you want a girlfriend, just watch the world burn together. Am I safe? Oh, nope, not yet. If you're a girl, I'm sure you would love to watch the world burn down with your best boyfriend, right? Okay, let's book it. Hmm? Whoa! Okay, we're safe. Thank God. Hello, sir. Lovely day. Oh. 
I think he's in the process of committing suicide. Uh, listen, Mr. Mannequin, there's really no need for that. You've got so much to live for. Think about it. You could be on display in, in, in a department store window. You could be Santa Claus, dress up as a woodsman with an ax, uh, be a clown, put on a little cute red dress. Truly, there's no reason to die. It's like I, I was never really here. Well, in that case, go ahead and jump by all means. Oh no, don't tell me I have to kill the mannequin. Oh no! I'm so sorry. This went from a suicide to a murder. Remember our treasure? It's not far, this way. T tr treasure? The Black Wanderer, a wanderer, and the secret of the flame. Well, uh, what's the flame? Poor guy. Why'd you go and do it? Why did you do it? It wasn't worth it, man. We needed you. We needed mannequin number 90 in our life. Now you're dead. Ah. No one cares about mannequin number 90. He was a weird, very strange person. Uh, mannequin. Huh? Hello? Yeah, you guys rest up. Oh, those are parts. Okay, well that's creepy. I saw nothing. I saw literally nothing. If the police ask, I was not a part of this and I know nothing and I've seen nothing. The killing joke. There we go, the killing joke. Step into the light. Well, I mean, I kind of can't do that, I'll die. <coughs> right? Maybe not, let's try it. Oh, that definitely burns. That burns my delicate gamer skin. Uh, oh, what, oh. Oh, hello there. And I died. Incredible. Okay, let's try this. Flip the switch, run to the other side, avoid the falling mannequin of death, and then up here. A lot of dead mannequins. Very depressing. Must be a tough life as a mannequin. Up the ladder. Avoid the death beams. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, these are the, uh, the skyscrapers we saw. Yeah, and down there's the courtyard. And then below that's the factory or whatever that place was. Interesting. Oh. Okay, I'm trying to get a feel for what I look like based on my shadow, but that's kind of hard. I do have fantastic fluffy hair, though. I can tell you that much. Oh! Why, hello, sir! I, uh, I see you're enjoying a nice bubble bath! May I be of service? Would you like a foot massage? Or possibly, um... Suicide by electrocution? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Why do I have a feeling it is? Oh, what's that, sir? Your water is a bit chilly. Well, here, I'm going to warm it up. Sorry about that. Oh yeah, he's dead. He's good and dead. Man, I'm a killer. I'm a killer out here murdering all the mannequins. Oh, we're piecing together the, uh, the poster. Death rays, watch out for that. That's locked. Oh God, what's this? Hello? Oh shit. Okay, well that's weird. <laughs> Have a feeling crazy grandma's gonna come out of that at any moment, but uh, for now we're good. Up here? Where the hell are we going? Oh, well th that's not weird. Hi. I've always wanted to have a door with my face on it. Fantastic idea. Great way to keep away the salesmen and the Mormons. Not that I have anything against them, but uh, you know, I like my privacy. I don't need people knocking at my door. They see my ugly face. They're not gonna come knocking, so might have to try that. Hey, buddy. Oh, that's a killer show. Full of drama. No! 
Watch out! Something's coming! Something's oh shit! Oh, it's crazy grandma! She's coming through the door! Or no, through the TV! Even worse! Okay, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go! Oh! She's weird! She's so weird! Just a bit further. Yeah, just a bit th further. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. <laughs> Man, she crawled out of the TV. That's what I call 3D vision. Good Lord. Okay. Bloody roots. Bloody roots. Uh huh. Sounds like a really bad hair condition. Tried dyeing my hair purple, ended up with bloody roots. Oh wait, we're back on the ship. Oh. So, I'm... I'm guessing that was the end of Act 2. Now we've got fish on the floor. Fantastic. Oh! You run, but do you know the way? You build one character, you destroy the other. There's no other way. You follow reason, you see through it, you cut away the strings. Okay, well, that was a very strange act. There's, I believe, five acts in total, so we've barely scratched the surface of the story, but uh, so far we know there's two kids, the pirates are make-believe, uh... Well, somebody's really good at throwing knives! That's not at all worrisome. No! There's a mannequin head with an apple. We've got some gold down there. I have no idea what the, the, the symbolism of any of this is, but, uh, I mean, that's cool. House is built of walls and beams. A home is built of fears and dreams. Oh, that's so nifty. We have a painting of some rotting fish. Fantastic. Oh. Okay. This guy is getting on a ship. I swear, we're on the Titanic. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave it off there. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Next time... God knows what'll happen, but uh, I have a feeling it's going to be even more creepy than this. This act, at least. What the hell? I have no idea what that is, nor do I wish to know. Anyway, guys, until next time, I'm leaving it off here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry for rambling on about the most stupid and nonsensical things, but it's what I do when I'm scared. So, yeah, I guess you can probably guess I was scared the whole time, right? Because I'm a little bitch, obviously. Hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, peace out.